Today's topic for discussion is forms of plant on the basis of growth pattern. Every plant is having a different shape, different form. Certain forms which are discussed in this slide that are next. These are the names of different forms of plant that is subfruscent and acolcent, cespitose, decumbent, fastigiated. These are the different forms of plants. Fascicled, prostrate, creepers, arborescent, colcent, upright form, ascending, semi erect, roset, runner, stoliniferous plants, parasitic plants, assurgent, next, and colcent, dimorphic, acads, ecoparasites, epizaic, epiphyllus, monocarpic, suffrustents, and deliquescent, and elithic, woody. All these are the different forms which are discussed by plant, plant taxonomist and let us discuss the exactly meaning of each form that is a present form of plant. The plant which are intermediate between the herbaceous and the shrub plants that are termed as subcrucent plants. Okay? Such plants are partly woody at the basal region and that are perennial. Next. This is a colcent plant, the stemless plants or the plant with very short stem are termed as a colcent plant. The sum, uh, in some herbaceous plants, the stem remains below the soil and the leaves also develop beneath the soil. Okay? At the time of reproduction, flowers are developed aerially without aerial stems. Such plants are described as a colcent plants that form is a colcent form. The plant with highly reduced stem in other language, a highly reduced stem and leaves and inflorescence that arise from the ground is termed as acolcent. Is a one more definition. And many biennial plants show acolcent type of habit. Next. This is the plant in the photograph shown as an example of acolcent form of plant. Next. This is a speedose type of plant. A tuft form of growth occurs in the grasses like the Schampsia species. Such forms of plants are described as suspitos. Next. This is decumbent form or decumbent habit. Decumbent form of plant. The plants grow parallel to the soil surface but the tip grows upward. Okay. Most of the herbaceous plants are decumbent. The, the stem lies on the surface of the soil but do not produce roots to the nodal region and the upper 30 to 50 percent region of the stem turned upward. Such a type of form of the plant stem described as decumbent. Okay, and the example is Tridex procumbens. Next, this is one more uh, type of form of plant that is made on the basis of growth pattern. The plant produces fastigiated. Fastigated form in this case, the plant produces branches which are approximately parallel to main stem and usually upright. Such form is described as fastigated form. Next, fascicle. This form is also made on the basis of growth. The plant possesses a group of branches mostly arising from a same place on a short stem. Such type of plant is described as fascicle. Next. This is one more form of plant made on the basis of growth that is prostrate or procumbent trailers. In this case, the entire stem including all branches creep on the ground totally but not rooting at the nodes. Even the tip region of the plant lies on the ground. The entire plant survives parallel to the soil surface. Such forms of plants are described as prostrate or procumbent trailers. The example is tribulus terrestris. Next. Creepers, it is one, one, one more form of the plant, creepers or repent. The stem grows horizontally on the soil surface. The branches creeps on the land and the roots arise at the every nodal region. The plant stems are parallel to the soil surface. Such plants are described as creepers. The example is cynodon. Next. This is one more form of plant which is made on the basis of growth that is arborescent. The plant with a single woody stem which grow like a tree is termed as arborescent. 
द स्टेम ऑफ सच प्लांट मे बी अनब्रांच द एग्जाम्पल इज डेट एंड द कोकोनट प्लांट नेक्स्ट कॉलसेंट फॉर्म ऑफ प्लांट इन दिस के द एनी प्लांट दैट प्रोड्यूसिंग कॉन्स्टिशियस स्टेम अबोव द ग्राउंड इज से टू बी कॉलसेंट नेक्स्ट अपराइट फॉर्म ऑफ प्लांट द द प्लांट ग्रोविंग स्ट्रेट अपवर्ड इज टर्म दैट अपराइट फॉर्म ऑफ प्लांट और अपराइट प्लांट ओके नेक्स्ट फॉर्म ऑफ प्लांट विच इज मेड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ ग्रोथ दैट इज एसेंडिंग फॉर्म ऑफ प्लांट द प्लांट विच शोज अपराइट ग्रोथ ऑल द ब्रांचेस मोस्टली टर्न टूवर्ड्स अपर डायरेक्शन दिस टाइप ऑफ फॉर्म ऑफ द प्लांट इज टर्म दैट एसेंडिंग नेक्स्ट सेमी इरेक्ट फॉर्म ऑफ प्लांट द प्लांट डज नॉट शो ग्रोथ परफेक्टली इरेक्ट मोस्ट ऑफ द हर्बेसियस प्लांट मे शो सेमी इरेक्ट हैबिट नेक्स्ट the plant rosset it is one more form of the plant rosset the plant with very short internodes and cluster of clouded leaves though they are present just above the soil surface the plant with such form of plant the plant with such structure that is described as rosset next runner it is a prostrate branch with a very long internodes which run on ground and the there the, there is and these are developed from the axillary buds of the leaves the nodal region produces adventitious roots and the runners are generally spread on the ground in all direction the example is marsilia the runner may be annual or biannual or it may be a perennial plant next stoloniferous form of plant the stoloniferous growth uh, form of plant which is made on the basis of growth the plant produces stolons Stolon is a branch arises from the basis of the plant uh, which run horizontally and the roots are produced and a new daughter plant is produced at each nodal region next parasitic plant the plants are dependent on other host plants for their food requirements are termed as parasitic plants cascuta is one more example which is a parasitic plant that absorbs food and minerals from the host plant there are many shrub and trees are host uh, are the host plants of cascuta cascuta is the parasitic plant it is a example of parasitic plant okay the parasitism may be partial or complete the root parasite of plant such as striga is a semi parasite plant because it grows on the root system of the host plant and absorbs only minerals from the host host plant that is the hence it is a uh, it, it, it is described as semi parasitic plant next this is ascendant plant the plant shoots grow in ascending way there are many shrub and tree show such type of shoots okay such form is described as ascendant form next a dimorphic the plant having two different form system as dimorphic form next ichats the plants which are adopted to a specific habitat are termed as ichat and the plants do not grow in a variety of habitats are termed as ichats okay next ectoparasite the parasitic plant that has most of its part outside the host and the plant parts or reproductive parts of the plant survive outside of the host plant in cascuta example is cascuta and cascuta it is a ectoparasite because it is visible on the host surface next epigeic plant the plants having stolons on the ground surface such habit is termed as epigeic habit next epiphyllous plant epiphyllous plant which is made uh, this plant form is made on the basis of growth pattern that is epiphyllous form the plants which grow on the leaves of the other plants are termed as epiphyllous generally the epiphyllous plants are algal plants uh, or lichens or small herbs next monocarpic plants the plants survive for many years even after flowering and seed maturity such plants are described as monocarpic next deliquescent plant in this case the tree after producing some branches the main stem stops its growth then the axillary buds produce many branches and the main stem is formed into a umbrella like structure the example is ficus and that form of plant is described as deliquescent form next this is epilithic plant epilithic plant these are some plants adopted to grow on a rocky surface of earth 
The plants which grow on the surface of rocks are termed as epithelic. epithelic. The plants may be deficient of minerals grow on the rocky places of the land. Okay, next. Woody plant. The plant having hard stem. The stem shows secondary growth. Such stems are large with well developed bark. And these, these types of stems are termed as woody. Presence of woody stem is the characteristic feature of large trees. The woody stems possesses well developed bark. The forest trees are the woody plants which may have large trunks. Okay. Next. Thank you very much. Save trees, save earth.